I've been fighting with myself way too long. Need to quit it like it's Quidditch with the golden boss. None of my best friends don't care at all. And I'm gonna watch them fall like the violent war. And I said what I said. Peace. What's good, guys? Hope you guys are doing well. So let's talk some Impact Wrestling. This episode actually was pretty good. I did enjoy the show. I was sort of kind of heavily invested in most of the show. Uh, there were some parts of the show I was like, what the fuck? What the fuck are they doing? This is some WWE type of shit. But, you know, it is what it is. All of wrestling kind of does that shit, in my opinion. So hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Let's go ahead and get into the review. So we kicked the show off with a match between Rosemary and Tasha Steeles. This was a very short match. This only went about maybe, I think, 12 minutes. No, I'm not even going to say 12 minutes. I, I would say, uh, I'm going to say, yeah, 12 minutes. So it only went about 12 minutes. wasn't that long. It, it felt like they had like 8 minutes to do everything. It felt like it was 8 and I was like, damn. And then before you before you know it, you look up and uh, Rosemary Spears, Tasha for the 1, 2, 3. Um, Post-match, Savannah Evans hits the ring. And basically, Tasha Steeles and Savannah Evans, they take the tag titles. Havoc's in the ring as well, and I thought that was really st stupid. It was dumb as shit to do. I don't know why they would do this, in my opinion. Rosemary and Decay are super over, which is understandable. I don't see them losing at all when they face that victory road next Friday. I, I don't see that happening at all. I just don't. Moving on, we had a match between... Rich Swan versus Carl Anderson in a bunkhouse match, which is basically a fucking street fight if you want to get real with it. It was a pretty okay match. In the end, Carl Anderson wins via the gun stun for the 1 2 3. Also, Doc Gallows gets involved. And I believe there was a magic killer in the match as well. Um, next, we had a promo by um, Mickey James. She cut a really good promo. We had a really cool vignette. Next, Chris Bay versus David Finley. Very good match. Enjoyed it. But in the end, Finley defeated Chris Bay via a fucking roll-up. And I hate fucking roll-ups. Uh, Post-match, the Bullets, the Bullet Club's uh, member, Hikaleo, he returned. And Hikaleo... And Bay took out Juice Rock. Uh, yeah, took out Finn Juice. So. And they also uh, injured Juice Robinson's knee. So that's pretty interesting. So basically, Chris Bay is a heel. I'm not liking this 50 50 booking. This is so fucking stupid. I, I despise stuff like this because it's. Something that WWE would do. This is not something that Impact would normally do. It didn't need to happen. Chris Bay is most uh, more than likely over with the crowd. I don't understand why they would turn him heel. I just don't get it. I understand. You can kind of play the role of a tweener, but damn, like, why go heel again? It just makes no sense, but it is what it is. Next, we had... Um, No, my bad. Um, 
before we move on, there was also a backstage segment involving Scott Demore, and uh, he was interrupted by Ace Austin and Madman Fulton. And Felton wanted a match with Christian later on. He wanted uh, to pick Christian's opponent and ended up being Matt Man Fulton. But then uh, Scott turned it into a 10-man ten, a ten tag, so a 5-on-5. Five five. Team Cage versus Team Ace Austin, or uh, yeah, or versus Team Austin. So that's set for next week. So that's like, what the fuck? Um, more nonsense. This is something that AEW would do. I don't really understand these 10-man tags, these 8-man tags, these 6-man tags. We don't need this shit. We we just don't. It would have been better if it would have been just a regular tag team match. Madman Fulton and Ace Austin versus Christian Cage and, let's say, um, maybe Chris Saban. That would have been fine. Moving on, it is what it is. Uh, next, we had Macklin versus PD Williams. Uh Macklin wins and TJP got involved. There was uh no way he did a uh, his conga line came to the ring and PD played the dumb fucking heel like everyone does now. The dumb, I mean my bad not the dumb heel but the dumb fucking baby face that everybody does. And so he got distracted, and Macklin hit his finish for the one, two, three. I forgot what his finisher is called anyway. I don't even know what it's called. I, I just don't. It's just like a suplex up in the air, and he brings you down. So it's almost like a reverse Falcon Arrow, I would imagine. That's what it, that's what it is. So I guess it's like a reverse Falcon Arrow. Um, moving on, though. I thought it was okay, but I just I just don't I don't see what why they're doing this. Why they're trying to do a feud between PD and TJP. It just doesn't make any sense. So I guess that TJP is more than likely a tweener. I doubt if he'll get booed. I don't know. Moving on, main event. Moose versus Eddie Edwards. Very good match. Didn't last long. And then it ended around 9.55, so I'm like, okay, we have five minutes left, what's going to happen? And to my recollection, uh, Team Ace Austin and Team Christian Cage, or uh, Team Cage, they all started brawling, hitting their finishers and everything else. Uh, Alicia Edwards, she gets involved. And then towards the end of it, um... Eddie Edwards and, and Sammy Callahan, they fist bump with the bats, with the baseball bats. And so they have formed an alliance. And basically you have the faces of Team Cage standing tall. And the show goes off the air. That was that. So it was pretty okay. It was a pretty okay show. It could have been better. Um... But it's way better than Monday Night Raw. Anything's better better than Monday Night Raw. Monday Night Raw is an utter shit show. I just I don't even do any reviews on that bullshit. It's just worthless. So thank you guys for watching. Hit the like button, comment down below, and subscribe for my videos. Be on the lookout for my review of SmackDown. That'll be up tomorrow. Later on in the day. It'll be up tomorrow afternoon. Um, I'm thinking about doing a review of Rampage. Probably not though. I don't think anything is going to happen. That's going to be newsworthy. So I'll catch you guys later. Peace.